Hi, my name is Saumya Upadhyaya and I'm part of the product marketing team at GitLab. And today we're going to talk about moving from SVN to Git. So first things first, what is SVN? So SVN was founded in, about, uh, in 2000 by Collabnet and is now developed as a part of the Apache Foundation. Similar to Git, it is a popular version control system, albeit it's been past its heyday. Today only about 16% of developers use it as per a research by Stack Overflow and a lot of enterprises However, still prefer to use SVN as it provides a lot more control to administrators. So what are the main differences between SVN and Git? I think the main difference lies in the architecture and its handling of large binary files. In fact, most of the users or organizations that still do use SVN continue to use it for its convenience with large binary files. We also support large binary files in a, uh, since 2015. We'll talk about that later. But um, you, uh, organizations still consider SVN to be handling um, large binary files a lot better. From an architecture point of view, SVN is a centralized architecture where every change is maintained on a central server. The benefit of this is that synchronization is much better. However, if it is not set up adequately for high availability and disaster recovery, such a centralized server can tend to be a liability as it may or may not crash as, uh, exactly when you re require it. So compared to it, Git is a distributed um, repository. It ensures that code can be pushed and committed locally and independently of the main repository. This makes versioning uh, lighter on the network traffic. Also, uh, the architecture is better for merging repositories as well. This is simply because the ability to merge code from, from multiple contributors is the main focus of Git and the architecture was built to enable community collaboration. Ask a developer today about subversion and be sure to be faced with this statement. Um, possibly many of the young developers haven't even heard of SVN today. So why would a customer want to move away from SVN? So there are three key reasons that we see. The first is a majority of developers today use Git. As per the Stack Overflow survey that I mentioned earlier, close to 90% of developers use Git. All the cool kids use it. All the young kids, of course, use it. So it's a lot easier to attract and retain talent for Git compared to Subversion, which is now an increasingly rare talent to find. So currently, majority of the workforce is distributed, as we all know, with more than one location or office for the workforce. In such a scenario, the development experience would be degraded if the development platform is network intensive, which is the case with SVN, and makes pushes and commits take too long, as it is the case with SVN as well. Thirdly, you ask any administrator who's worked on SVN and you will hear the, that merge conflicts are part, of, uh, are part of life. Why? Because handling merge conflicts in SVN is complex and time consuming. Additionally, commits and pushes take way too long. Anecdotally, I've heard that it takes about three minutes per push, which does not really serve the purpose of requiring frequent pushes to the rep repo, which is good development practice. Git, uh, on the other hand, makes branching and merging a lot easier with simultaneously uh, multiple developers being able to work on the same piece of code and handling merge conflicts is a lot easier in Git. So let's take an example of uh, Worldline, which is a reference customer uh, for GitLab. So way back in 2014, they actually faced many, many challenges with their development uh, platform and they had to actually set up many integrations with different tools like Gerrit, uh, SVN, Jenkins, amongst uh, a lot of other tools that they had to not only set up, but also maintain. Each time they required a new repo on SVN, in their words, it took about one to two weeks to get a, a source code repo. Using a separate tool for code review, of course, did not encourage developers to use it, which showed in the usage metrics. Only 10 to 20 of the 3,000 plus developers used the code review tool. Once they started using GitLab SEM for ease of use, within six months, they had about 1,000 developers on the platform. SEM and code review have become so easy that, that now today they have 3,000 plus users, active users of GitLab, uh, and they are not only using GitLab for SEM, but they also use uh, a lot of other stages within GitLab. So you can read their entire story on this link below. So do we support a customer uh, moving from SVN to GitLab? Yes, we do. There are two key approaches. The first is 
that uh, uh, a customer would need to maintain both repositories mirrored with each other. We use a third party tool called SubGit, which is paid for enterprises. Both repos are synced frequently and this helps to smoothen migration issues. The second approach is a cutover migration where uh, a customer can translate all of their data, history and author details to GitLab. They move to, and they move to GitLab completely post migration. This is a recommended approach, especially for smaller projects. What are the key, uh, key objections you may face when trying to migrate SVN customers? The biggest objection today is that the large binary file handling in, uh, in Git is not supported or it's not good enough. While this was traditionally true, it's not true anymore. GitLab has been supporting large file storage since 2015. This requires uh, an embedded install within GitLab. Uh, as well as an installation of an LFS client on the local system. This experience is now being improved with the cl partial clone feature, which does not require separate installs. It's just a command line configuration at the moment. So to summarize, we do support large binary files and we continue to improve it, which we will see in the next slide. So what does the future hold, uh, especially in the context of SCVN to Git? Uh, we continue to want to make uh, Git friendly for designers, data scientists, animators, and so on, who are the people who actually operate a lot, lot, lot with large, uh, large binary files. They would benefit from having code review like processes, merges and diffs, and from having pretty much everything that we, uh, we have for code uh, in the repository, right? Uh, they would like to um, have the same experience for animations, designs, uh, textures, and so on. So with that, we're making a lot of improvements to make the large file experience excellent, uh, to make sure that it works out of the box as well as without specialized configuration or hardware. So to summarize, SVN is not cool anymore. All the, almost all new projects are being started in Git across various organizations. Why would an organization want to maintain two different version control systems when they can seamlessly migrate and maintain only one? So Git is almost a de facto standard today. Everyone needs Git. Uh, and GitLab is one of the leading providers for version control and collaboration using Git. Thank you.